Fedef invited me to go to the Formula E. But first, I want to tell you my story. My name is Oscar Muñoz and I have lived my whole life in Santiago de Chile. And I always wanted to make a change in my hometown and change people to act more sustainable. And this is why I founded Green Glass. And this, guys, is the Green Glass Recycling Center. Please follow me. You're gonna see that here we receive uh, all sorts of materials from the community, aluminum, uh, plastic, and of course, our best friends, the bottles. Ta -da! So I wanna tell you that every day in my country, in Chile, one million of these are thrown into the landfills every day, which uh, we think is totally wrong. So what I'm gonna show you now is how we turn these bottles into the best drinking glasses of the world, how we cut them, fire them, grind them, and turn them into the green glasses. So follow me and come to see the process. And here, guys, is the first step where the magic starts. We have to cut the bottle. You can see that we're scoring it, and after we score it, if you put close attention here, we have uh, this. The fire has turned the bottle into a cut. Ta -da! And if you follow me here, you're gonna notice that this is very sharp and dangerous. So what we have to do is grind it. Here you can see the guys that are very fast grinding. After the bottles are grind, you can see that they're smoother. But there's one last step that is gonna make them really smooth. And it's this one. You can see when we discovered fire, thereby you can see that the rims are red. And when the rims are red, it's because they have melt. And now they look shiny, smooth, and they are ready for becoming a green glass. So congratulations guys, you made it to the last part. This is my favorite process and it's called the seal screen. We're gonna paint this glass, take attention. I give it a lead. Close look. We put the glass there. The paint goes through the screen and ta da! It's ready. And the last part, the final one, is this. Uh, we're gonna put the glass into the oven and when it comes out, we're gonna fire this into really high temperature so the paint is gonna melt and it's gonna turn up like this. You won't be able to scratch it and it's gonna last forever. So guys, this is what we do in terms of sustainability. And now ZF Motorsports has invited me to join a very special event to know more about e-mobility, which is a leading topic on sustainability. We are heading to the Formula E here in Santiago and we're gonna meet the Mahindra Racing Team. So come here and let's go. So here it comes. This for me is like making history in my city. Woo! We are here in my first electric bus ride. And this bus is featuring setup technology. So it's really amazing. Uh, I'm used to jumping in a bus and hearing the engine roaring like Rawr! And we are in the most crowded um, lane in Santiago. And we're just floating in silence, really calm, relaxed. It's so different to ride an electric bus and I'm so amazed. I'm, I'm looking around and I've never noticed before, but every time there's more and more electric buses. So we finally here, we arrived to the Formula E in Parque O'Higgins. It's a beautiful day in Santiago. I'm so excited to meet the Mahindra team, the racers, and to see their cars. <laughs> hey, 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 deal bag. How are you, man? How are you? I'm fine too. Thanks for coming by, I really appreciate it. Okay, thank you for joining us. 
I'm really excited because it's the first time I mean something uh, like this. I have never seen a sports car before okay. uh, and I don't know much about e-mobility okay. but I know it's gonna be the thing that is gonna change the world about this big issue, this big problem that we have, cars, traffic jam and all the pollution, noise. So if we, if we see today improvements in terms of battery, what do you think uh, is gonna the future look like? I think the next big thing which we are seeing is, okay, first when we started Formula E and racing and electric mobility, we showed speed. So the first car was all about speed. The second car, which is this car, what we call Gen 2, is about range. Okay, how far? Because we can go one battery the whole race, first of speed. The third, which we're going to see in two years' time, is about fast charging. Uh, so you can charge a car, like today it takes us 45 minutes to charge this battery. Yeah. We might look at this down to 10 minutes. So it's like filling your petrol tank, the same yeah. amount of time and all that, you can charge a car. And that's a big breakthrough. So we've already shown speed, yeah. sh showing Rain. distance, and now charging. So both sides are attacking the problem, which will make a very big difference going forward. That's massive. I think that's, a, that's the change. How, how do you see the role of uh, Formula E on making this big shift, on promoting e-mobility? In this championship, there is cooperation and there's competition. Yeah. So we cooperate with each other to make better battery technology, yeah. but we compete with the same battery yeah. against each other with our powertrain. Yeah. And each team has its own powertrain, and that's where ZF comes in. Yeah. ZF is our partner for our powertrain. Yeah. So when Mahindra goes wins races, it's actually the ZF technology yeah. which is behind us yeah. winning races yeah. out there. So that's something which is really important for Mahindra, yeah. is having the right partner who has the experience of everything commercial vehicles to bicycles yeah. they do everything in between and that's where it was very important for us to have a partnership with someone like zf who have the same commitment to e-mobility like us who wanted the whole range of products and then bring it to people so it's just not sexy fast cars it has to be buses it has to be trucks it has to be commercial but that's how everyone in society is going to be impacted and i think that's why something which is very important for zf and mahindra to collaborate and then take this forward that, that's crazy, that's like such a good mix. I think there's even buses here in Santiago that use ZF technologies. Right. Uh, and that for me is like very like, wow, like, um, and this game that is like between competing, collaborating for making better technology that is gonna impact the world, it's just, it's just crazy. And, 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 and the same time, you have fun. It seems that this is your life, like you have done this since when? I've been here since day one. So this is my 61st race and this is the 61st race. I've been for all the races. But I think coming back to your point, I must really say Chile is a very important market in the whole electric mobility stuff, okay? Because the, the raw material which goes in, the lithium which comes in comes from Chile. And now you talk about buses. This city has got the most number of electric buses outside China, which is just amazing. Like you think, okay, where is Chile, one corner of the world? But this one corner of the world is very thinking for the future yeah. and I think that much where I'm really surprised when you look around here you have 200 electric buses already in Santiago which is amazing which is yeah. really great yeah. for me that's very shocking because you think uh, I think like normal people yeah. would think that all this electric thing is like way beyond but it's actually happening now and, and in a big scale so now when I go outside of my house and I see like electric bus for me that's like I, I thought like my country is never going to have electric mobility, and, but seeing it now real is like such a big thing. So I'm very thankful. Thanks for having me. It was great. Uh, I never knew it was so advanced, everything in e-mobility. I'm really happy that the thing is happening and just a big thank you for showing me this world. First of all, Oscar, thank you for inviting us to Chile. Thank you for hosting us. Yeah. We love this country. It's really great to come here and we hope to come back here again. And Look forward to you and really contribute what you're doing. Yeah. Wish you all the best with what you're doing. Yeah. All the best, okay? Thanks, Take man. care. Take care. All the best. Yeah. How are you? <laughs> nice you. to have you here. What do you feel is like the spirit of the whole uh, of the whole championship? What do, what do you feel like are the more core values? Why why is important to build electric cars now? I mean, the brands are using it for track to road, so uh, yeah. definitely they learn something from uh, these cars. You know, yeah, yeah. electric mobility is uh, is a newer technology, so there's a lot of things to learn and. Uh, 
yeah, with these technologies in the car, obviously they want to learn something for the road cars. Have you ever sit in one of no, those cars? No, never, never, never. You would fit, you I have can, a... Can, yeah. can, can I? Yeah, try should, it. Should I, just, I mean, yeah. Should I just jump? Sure. <laughs> and you, your feet just go all the way. <laughs> Fuck. Whoa. <laughs> and you're very tight. Yeah. This is crazy. I mean, this seat is especially made for me. So I am I have all the support yeah, yeah. on the side and yeah, everything. You're, very, so. you're very skinny, man. Whoa. <laughs> man, and... You just uh, you just see what you got. You don't have like a map or anything. You just know. The you road. don't see a lot. You you just see like five meters ahead of the car. Obviously, you see the tires. Then, what is this? Like the rocket, the start. That's the start button. <laughs> we we put a, a logo of a rocket. Yeah, that's <laughs> great. This is crazy, man. Well, thanks for. <laughs> this is great. So, okay, I just take the steering wheel off. Yeah, really good. Whoa. Feels, feels crazy. Thank you very much for your time. Take care and enjoy the race. Have a good race, man. Thank you. Take care. Bye bye. Bye. So we have come to an end, the race is over, we have the winners and it was just such an amazing event. It just blows my mind how this competition can develop technology in order to bring e-mobility for the whole world. Even in my own country in Santiago I could ride an electric bus and feel all the benefits of e-mobility. Less pollution, less noise and better life quality. So I hope you have enjoyed, I'm Oscar Muñoz and I hope I have encouraged you to live a more sustainable life. See you.